our feelings, our internal battles, we can smile at the camera and we can hide it when we're at work. But those feelings, that sadness, will manifest itself when we're alone and in the dark. <laughs> You know, before we get any further into the video, I want you guys to take a look at this. I think we as a society waste a lot of time trying to stop people from killing themselves as opposed to exploring why they want to die in the first place. So if you guys may not know already, uh, Chesley Chris, a very successful black woman, Sadly, Sunday, January 30th, uh, took her own life um, by jumping out a, I believe it was the 20, 29th floor of a building that she was staying at in Manhattan. I'm going to run down how successful this woman was, how much of an amazing soul she was. Chesley Chris was born April 28, 1991 in Jackson, Michigan. Graduated in Fort, Fort Hill High School, located at the suburbs in the Charlotte metropolitan area. She graduated with high praise from Dollar Moore School of Business with a degree in Marketing and Human Resource Management. Graduated from Wake Forest University School of Law in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and Masters of Business and Administration. Founder of fashion blog White Collar Glom, which was hers, which was dedicated to helping women dress professionally in white collar jobs. And of course, she was Miss USA of 2019. You know, before she had passed away, she had put a post on Instagram. And it reads, May this day bring you rest and peace. Of course, a lot, a lot of us were confused with that post. But sadly, it makes sense now. For a lot of us trying to wrap our head around someone who is so successful, made it, went above and beyond in accomplishments in her life and the impact she had on others. T to take her life, her own life, it doesn't really make sense to me. And for a lot of us, you know, I really do hope they do more investigation on this incident in this case, because something doesn't seem right. She had accomplished a lot and she was still in an upward trajectory. It makes no sense. If I'm going to be quite honest, but let's just say she did decide to do self-deletion. Sometimes in the journey through life, you'll go through and you will learn to stop communicating and understanding yourself. Through your determination and trying to persevere through obstacles to become the best version of yourself, to accomplish all those milestones. A lot of times you will lose connection with yourself. And I believe that through the course of time. Yeah, she, she had all those milestones that she accomplished. All those goals accomplished. She was financially set, 
had the status, had the money. But something that we always tend to take for granted that she possibly didn't have was that when she would go to her house, when she was done for the day, grinding, that place she went to was a house. But it wasn't, but it wasn't really a home. I say that because there was probably no one else there that she could really talk to, communicate with on a deep level about how she was feeling. She was alone after going out her way, doing what she had to do during the day, come home and it just felt empty probably. Didn't have a sibling or a spouse. Sadly, I think she was childless too. My point of saying this is that we're always taught, hey, go get the bag, go get your money. That's priority first. But also the connections we have with people and loved ones and having families and close-knit families is also important too. As much as we can have all the money and have everything uh, 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 materialistic accomplished or have it in our possession, it will never replace another soul, another being, another person. So I say this to say, y'all, you have to really be grateful and appreciative for the people you have around you on a daily basis. Whether that may be a spouse, a family member, your child, you got to be appreciative to have them. And while being appreciative of having them, you also got to work on yourself and have self-understanding and love for yourself as well. So that while you have self-understanding and love for yourself, you understand what you're going through and the importance of you constantly pushing forward. Even when those emotions and that sadness rushes and hits you all at one time that you suppressed for so many years, you'll still have the grit and determination to plow through it. You have more to live for. And giving up and succumbing to natural imperfections or what's plaguing you of your past is not an option to give up and succumb to them. And uh, the last thing, I can honestly say this woman is a queen. Her presence was felt and a damn show will not be forgotten. Rest in paradise. To Chesley, Chris, ARDL.